I'm Bob from plasticpipeshop.co.uk and in this video we're going to talk about different types of boil valves. Boil valves are probably the most common type of valve you find in pipe systems under 3 inches. That's because they're the lowest cost of any valve and also when they're fully open they run at a full bore which means there's hardly any head loss but also that there's nowhere for debris or particles to get jammed and, uh, and block the pipe system up. They're ideally suited to situations where they're either fully open or they're fully closed. They're not very good at fine control. For that you really need a gate valve or a diaphragm valve. Ball valves come in two types, single union and double union. The unions enable the separation of the valve from the pipe without having to cut the pipe and reassembly. This is really useful if we want to service the valve or if we need to get access to the pipework because we fear the valve may be blocked. Double union ball valves are generally used in pipe systems where there is a fixed pipe coming in and a fixed pipe which is going out from the valve. In this situation if the valve needs servicing or cleaned or if there's a blockage in the line the valve can easily be removed, it can be checked for operation, the seals can be checked, if need be parts can be replaced or indeed the whole valve body can be replaced before reassembly into the line. All this can be done very very quickly which means that it's only a matter of minutes before the system is back in operation again. If we use a single ball valve instead our discharge pipe from the valve would be glued into the discharge side of the single union ball valve so we could only separate it on the inlet side. This would mean we couldn't remove the valve from the system to inspect it like we had the double union ball valve. What we would have to do is to cut the pipe, take the valve out and inspect it, and then put it back in with the assistance of a glued socket a little way along the pipe. The problem with this is that we would then need to wait for the glue to set before we could put the system back into operation. And that could be anything between 6 to 8 hours, even up to 24 hours in cold temperatures and if we're operating at high pressures. So the use of a double union ball valve in a fixed pipe system is far more preferable to using a single union ball valve. Single union ball valves are only really of use at the end of pipe systems. So for example at the end of a purge line where all we want to do is open the valve and the fluid will flow freely from the outside. That way, if the valve does get blocked, we only need to undo one side and we can take the valve off. Similarly, if we have an outlet into a tank, then this is the outlet into the tank. If the valve gets blocked, we can undo the valve on one end and we can take the valve out. If you're going to have any fixed pipe glued into the outlet of your valve, you need to have a double union valve rather than a single union ball valve. Well, I hope that's helped clarify the difference between single union ball valves and double union ball valves and their applications. If you need any more help, our website www.plasticpipeshop.co.uk has a lot of technical documents. And if we can assist, please don't hesitate to ring us. Thanks for watching. Bye.